This video looks at how to effectively sketch trig functions and their inverses. First, let's sketch this simple trig function in graph. Next, we can sketch the reflection in y equals x. Press sketch and inverse. However, neither plot is a one-to-one -one mapping. We need to restrict the domain to achieve such a mapping. So let's sketch the function in this interval. Enter a second function and a comma and open a square bracket. Enter the lower bound, then the upper bound, close the bracket and execute. Now enter the inverse function and execute. The functions can now easily be analyzed graphically. A similar method can also be used for other functions such as y equals sine x.